What's going down, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, hanging out in the studio late night. Was sipping some coffee, but I'll be honest, I've been fumbling around with my new setup back here, and uh, I kind of let it get cold. Mm. Try to get a drink before it's done. Anyways, phone's blowing up. Anyways, um, as you guys are probably well aware of by now. Today we're going to do an unboxing video. Um, not just any unboxing video. Uh, we're actually going to introduce a new hobby shop slash sponsor as well. So um, those of you guys that have been following me for a long time know that I like to try to shine my little spotlight that I have on small companies and upcoming companies and try to uh, spread the love a little bit. Yes, I also work with some very large companies, but this hobby is 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 really really uh, it, it's full of mom and pa shops so to speak right and uh, they need some they need some love so um, what I've decided to do after a recent trip I had down to uh, San Francisco area is um, I decided to link up with a hobby shop that goes by JJ JJ Customs LLC JJ Custom yeah is it customs or custom customs JJ Customs LLC I didn't know if there's an S there or not so. JJ's is uh, ran by a gentleman named Jason. He is one hell of a character. I uh, hit it off with him right off the bat. Super nice guy, um, really down to earth, but more importantly, uh, the guy is extremely energetic. Like super energetic and very, very, very helpful. So I went down to uh, San Francisco for the Crawlmaster, Crawlmaster 2019, as I spit everywhere. I went down there for Crawlmaster 2019 and um, I filmed that, which that video will be coming out here shortly as well. And uh, it was great. It was a good time. And after that, uh, Highway 1 RC took me down to JJ's so I could check out some drag racing, see their shop, and uh, just, just kind of mingle with everybody, honestly, hang out with everybody. And um, that's what we did. It was a great time. Uh, I went there with my boy Jay from Highway 1 RC, and uh, a lot of Jays going on in this video. Josh, Jason, JJ's, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, um, I really liked the place. It was a very small hobby shop, uh, very different. There were no boxes on the shelves. Um, every RC car was taken out of the box and put on the shelf so you could actually see it in its physical form. You could touch it, you could move it around a little bit, uh, pinch tires, all that fun stuff. Um, very interesting layout the way that they did it and uh, they made use of a very good, very good use of a small space to make it happen. Um, very community styled environment, a lot of people hanging out, it's kind of like hanging out in an automotive shop. I've, uh, for those of you that worked in the automotive industry before, if you ever hung out in like a hot rod shop or like a, like a, I don't know, like somewhere where they work on a lot of like lifted trucks or something, um, like a specialty type shop, you know what I mean? Uh, or like a small garage or something. It's kind of that type of vibe. It was really cool. A lot of guys just chilling out, hanging out. Um, wrenching on their cars, wrenching on their trucks, uh, driving stuff around. It was just a, it was a good experience, a good environment. And it took me back to the early days of when I got in the hobby. And I used to be able to go into my local hobby shop and it was that same vibe. You walk in and everyone's just doing something. Everyone's wrenching on something. Everyone's talking RC. There's people playing with RC. There's kids checking stuff out, driving toys and you know, things flying. Like it was just a cool environment. And uh, I, I liked that a lot. And um, I didn't say anything while I was there, but I definitely got the idea while I was there to try to link up with Jason and uh, make something happen. I liked his attitude. I liked uh, the conversation that we had. And long story short, uh, we are now working together. And we came up with an idea. That's where this unboxing is going to come in. And uh, I wasn't sure when I started this video if I was going to tell you what this idea was or if I was just going to unbox this and let you guys try to figure it out. But um, I, I think I think I'm gonna tell you. I recently went to Louisiana as well, and uh, I got to hang out with Currency, uh, thanks to my friend Kenneth, uh, aka Priff Jackson, my boy 0017th representative, Jet Life representative, a, a Cruise Life Car Club representative. Um, my man Priff put me on. He took me to New Orleans, and I got to hang out with Currency and. We went low ride, and it was one of the most amazing car experiences I've had in a long time. Um, it just, it really hit home for me. So uh, I personally fell in love with low riding all over again. And uh, so boys and girls, 
We're gonna build ourselves a lowrider from an RC four wheel drive TF2 Blazer. <laughs> I don't know how stupid this is, but um, that's what we're gonna do. This is like a top of the line trail truck, absolutely beautiful rig, and I am going to turn it into a lowrider. <laughs> because why not? Extreme scale performance. Um, so in order to do that, we gotta open this box. So let's go ahead and open this box. Let me see if I can squeeze one more sip out of this. Mm. Too cold. All right, let's go ahead and open this box. It's a little beat up. It's been here for a while and my kid has been uh, crawling all over it <laughs> and uh, playing. He, he likes to put his other, he, he's got trucks down here I let him play with and he likes to put them on top of this box. It's pretty funny. He'll put them up on the box and he'll get down and look at them and turn the wheels and blah, 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 talk his little gibberish and he thinks he's a mechanic. It's pretty funny. So, let's, uh, let's open this up. You know, before we open this, let's just talk about it real quick first. Um, this has been around for a long time, all right? Uh, not a long time, but it's been around for a little while now. I've got friends that have the same vehicle. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, this is one of the more scale offerings from RC Four Wheel Drive, but it does have its flaws, all right? And I think most of us are, we've heard about the flaws already, and we'll go over that more uh, as we get into this build down the road. But um, it, it's a fancy truck. Most people that buy this uh, put it on the shelf. It's kind of a shelf queen. Some people buy it and actually build it out even further, uh, and then some people buy them and actually beat on them too. Um, it's just a nice rig. It's fairly expensive. Uh, I don't remember the exact cost off the top of my head, but I do know it's like, it's up there. It's up there. I think it was like 700, 800 bucks or something. Um, definitely up there. And uh, you know, I've got other stuff that costs that much, but you guys know me, typically I tend to build some more inexpensive stuff and then try to put my twist into it. However, on this one, uh, we're going for a show truck. We're going for something super fancy. And uh, this just so happens to come with a Super Scale R3 transmission. And it also comes with the Super Scale uh, RC four wheel drive Chevy engine. So it's definitely gonna help out. Um, and since I'm not holding the camera, we're not gonna do all the B-roll stuff right now up close. Maybe we'll do some of the truck after I get it out. But let's just go ahead and get this thing out of here. Oh, looks like it needs to go this way. I thought it was the orange one. It said orange. Didn't it say orange? Please body set your friends for you and have Let's say I swear somewhere I was reading on this thing and it said it was an orange one. I'll have to look at the box later. That's interesting. Interesting. It is not an orange one. Which I'm not gonna lie, that's okay with me. I like this better. Alright. All right, no, I swear this said it was orange. Is it on the packing slip maybe? Yeah, it says orange right here. It says orange on the box. Somebody wrote orange, somebody got it wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. I am, uh, I'm getting too fat for this chair. Too low to the ground. All right, you guys ready to see what's in this box since I can hide it from you? Here she is, boys and girls. <laughs> Here she is. Uh, got a couple scratches on it, though. Right off the bat, there's a little scratch right here on the top. I'm gonna be a little hypercritical of this because this is an expensive one. So if you guys were going to buy this yourselves, um, You'd be spending a good amount of money, and I would want to, you know, if, if I was in your shoes, I'd be wanting the exact same feedback. I'd be wanting the truth. So, first thing we're gonna do is open this little package here. This uh, comes with four double A's. Now, this is a ready to run, which is pretty awesome. So that means I'll be able to drive this around before I get all crazy with it. Um, it comes with a charger, which is like old school style wall charger here. Let's see if I can get it open. Old school style wall charger. Very basic, simple. Got an LED light on it to me, a plug. Basic. Nine volt output, 650 milliamp. All right, and that means that we probably got an old school battery pack. Because they don't like shipping lipos these days. 
And that's true, we've got a 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride 3000 milliamp battery pack from RC 4-wheel drive. Um, you gotta give it to RC 4-wheel drive, their logos are just top of the line. Really like their logos. Everything looks really nice. Um, even for being a nickel metal hydride pack, it's a nice clean pack, that looks good. All right, so, let's go ahead and leave those sitting there. Something else, no. All right, set that aside. Now, next we have the radio, and this is a, uh, this radio has been around for a while. I actually have two or three of these already. Um, this is RC4 wheel drive radio. Uh, they had like an XR something, XR3 or something like that was what they called it. Uh, I don't remember right off the top of my head. Probably says on the box. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But anyways, it's like I, I'm pretty sure it's like XR3 or something. But it's a three-channel um, digital proportional radio, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, very basic standard radio, but it does work uh, pretty good. Three-position switch right here for the thumb. So if you wanted to add a winch to this right out of the box, you could add a winch and uh, you'd be good to go. Also, it's got um, in-point adjustments for all three channels, which is awesome. My other ones don't have the in-point adjustments for the third channel. Uh, not that I remember. So that's cool. It's set up for a winch. Uh, you can definitely, definitely set this up for a winch because of that. That's really cool. Now, set this aside here. What else we got? We've got some uh, wheel, hub, wheel hubs, but for some reason there's only three. I don't know why there'd only be three, but there's three wheel hubs. I feel like there should be four. 12 millimeter hex adapters. Definitely feel like there should be four. Next up, let's go ahead and pull this uh, package out here. It looks like it's the book. Um, also looks like there is a battery, maybe a battery strap. Um, a couple of tools for removing the scale hubs and some springs for tuning the shocks. That's what it looks like anyways. Let's go ahead and just try to open it up if you can. And not gonna work. like uh, some stickers too, some GM stickers. These are nice. Not sure where all they go or if I'll use them all, but definitely nice having those. Then of course we've got the book, naturally. Um, not too thick, but definitely, uh, definitely thorough, nice. Glossy, colored. Proper, it's good stuff. <clears throat> it's definitely a long way from where I remember them being the last time I unboxed the TF2. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can get, oh, look what I just found. I found the fourth one. I knew there was another one. It was inside there, floating around. It was actually sitting on the windshield, which makes me wonder if I, uh, maybe that's how the top got scratched up there. It's just a little nick, so maybe not, but. All right, so there's all four of them. Now, oh, there's something else down there. I see a, a screw. Yeah, there's a loose screw floating around down there. Hmm, I can't get to it right now, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Pretty amazing. Let's see if I can just lift it straight up out of here. 
Oh, the body comes off. And three tapping screws. There's the screw that fell out. All right, that's everything. Let's take a look at this. The body wasn't attached, it didn't feel like. Oh, it's just loose. Okay, I see. There's actually body posts in the back. I did not realize that. What's holding it in the front? Nothing? Okay, nothing is holding it in the front. So the body will need to be screwed in on the sides over here, it looks like. So for now, it's just sitting there. It looks like the interior is part of the body. It moves with the body. Okay, interesting. Man, this thing is nice. I'm not gonna lie, this is nice. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be hard to turn into a lowrider. I don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. Woo wait. Look at this. Look at the wheels and tires on it too. What are these? Raceline, so it comes with Raceline wheels. Oh, those are sick. RC four wheel drive scale hubs in the rear and RC four wheel drive scale uh, Ison hubs up front. Oh man, I wish these doors opened. That's something I'm gonna have to do, I think. I think I'm gonna have to make the doors open. Probably ruin the paint job doing it though. Hmm, what about the back? Okay, so the back, the back opens at least. Okay, so that's cool. It doesn't open far though. You'd think that would open a little further, but I see what's going on. It's rubbing on the actual body there. Interesting approach to that. May have to do something about that myself. Um, metal hinges. I like that, metal hinges. The mirrors fold out. So I like that. The emblems look to be the metal emblems. Lots of good detail. The paint actually looks really nice. Um, there is some spots where I can see like fingerprints because it's been smudged up a little bit. And that could be because this could have been one that was out of the box sitting on the shelf, you know what I mean? Where people do touch them, fill in them a little bit, right? Uh, I like it, man. I like it. It does feel like very, uh, very clean. Very. It almost feels like there's something missing in the front, though, right? But then again, I don't know my Chevy Blazers that well, so I don't know if there's supposed to be something underneath there. But I feel like maybe I need to do something about the grill for this. Um, I've got. I really wanted to make this look aftermarket, but. I'm sitting here looking at it, questioning if I should even make it a lowrider. It's really got me wondering. What do you guys think? Do I make this a super scale lowrider? Or do I do something else? Man, this is this is hard. The whole plan is to make this a lowrider. That's the whole goal, so. Unless we come up with a better idea, that's what I'm doing with this. And you guys are probably wondering how. I've got I've got a I've got it all figured out. <laughs> I know how I'm gonna do it. I can't share all my secrets just yet. Now, as far as uh, underneath, this is a TF2, very clean. Um, Yoda axles underneath. Uh, wow, man. Okay, let's let's get this body off here. I want to look at this with the body off. This is looking pretty intense underneath. RC four wheel drive does such a great job. All right, so those are off. Shut that, this should come right up off here. Yes, it does. Set that aside. Look at this, you guys. Unbelievable, this thing is like, this is next level. I can't believe you can buy them this scale just from the factory now. I mean, blows my mind. Really does. Look at the engine, man. I always wanted one of these things, never had one. They have so many accessories for them. You can literally just build this up into like a super detailed engine. I mean, all kinds of stuff, headers. 
you can get all the the water pumps and the you know the thermostat housings and like all the wires and fuel lines and fuel rails and like there's so many things you can do to these i've seen them so built out it's just it's mind-blowing this gets me so excited for rc again um rc4 wheel drive esc in the rear super basic stuff to me a plug naturally all the electronics will come out of this i'll, I'll be putting my own in it um but Yeah, I am so excited for this. So excited for this. I have plans, you guys, and I'm hoping it's gonna work. Um, I can tell you right now, some of you guys are not gonna like it because it's gonna involve removing some stuff from this in order to make it happen. It's gonna be cool though. I, I, I don't really have a lot to say like I normally would right now. I'm just really excited. This thing's so scale. Uh, I just, I really like it. Like, look at the, it's got a fuel cell um, receiver box in the back. It's got leaf springs all the way around. Metal Punisher shafts, it looks like. Um, it's got dual shocks up front. What else we got going on here? It's got a scale uh, oil pan underneath the engine. I mean, it's got a really nice skid plate, too. Oh, but we've got a leaf spring, not attached. Just noticed that. Did I just do that, or was it already like that, I'm wondering. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to fix that. Can't have that. Yep. Gonna have to fix that. So that's uh, that's one thing. It doesn't really bother me. Um, I always tell everybody when you get a new RC truck, take your time, go through nut and bolt it. Uh, and what that means is basically go through, check all the nuts, check all the bolts, make sure that there's thread lock on any metal um, threads. You know, anywhere where you need to put metal to metal threads, make sure you've got blue thread lock on there. Um, on the plastic stuff, make sure it's not over tightened and stripped out. Just check, make sure all screws are actually there. Uh, because you gotta remember, these are assembled by humans and humans still make mistakes. So there is a chance that uh, things can be missing or whatever, um, even in an $800 RC car, right? And uh, that's just the way it goes. Even in a real car, that's $80,000. Sometimes mistakes are made. So um, yeah, that being said, I am looking forward to using this. We're not gonna run it right now. We'll actually do a, a first run video on that here very soon where we will take this and actually drive it and see how it performs in its stock uh, in its stock setup. I mean, I, everything on this is bone stock. It's very nice. I really like it. Very skill layout, but I am going to change a few things. Uh, yeah, definitely going to change a few things. Uh, starting with the radio, um, then the rest of the electronics. Um, wheels and tires are coming off. Uh, suspension has to be redone for um, hydraulic setup and I'm not doing my hydraulics how you would think I'm, I'm gonna switch some things around so um, and then the body mods there's gonna be some body modifications as well so I'm just really excited I think this whole thing is gonna be awesome uh, I, I, I like the fact that I'm working more with RC four-wheel drive products now instead of just uh, the axial stuff that I did for so long. Um, I felt a big shift in the air and uh, I'm glad I caught that win. So yeah, let's uh, let's see let's see what we can do with some RC four-wheel drive stuff. That being said, you guys, go give JJ Customs a follow on Instagram. Give them a like on Facebook. Uh, if you're in the area, go check them out. They have just a really, really cool, I, what is, is it, San Jose? I think it's in San Jose. I get all the California towns mixed up because there's so many of them. But they're just outside of San Francisco, like an hour, I think, out of San Francisco. Um, very, 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 very good people. Very nice people. Very nice shop. Uh, very polite setting. Very friendly setting. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. They were barbecuing wise down there. All right, you guys. Basically, uh, JJ's came through in the clutch with this. This thing's gonna be awesome. The build is gonna be completely unique. 
something like I've never done before. And I hope you guys are really going to support this and enjoy this type of build. I, I know it's different than my normal off-road stuff, but, you know, we've been doing this for, what, like 12 years now or something? Um, it, I, I think it's time we switch it up a little bit and have some fun doing some other things. I still got plenty of off-road trucks that we'll be using. But, uh... Let's have some fun. Let's do something a little different. Leave me some feedback in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Is this, uh, is this crazy? Is this going to be awesome? Uh, are you looking forward to it or are you just bummed out? You think it's going to be a big waste of time? Uh, me personally, I think it's going to be awesome. Huge thank you. Huge, huge thank you to Jason over at JJ's. The whole squad over there. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the love that you've been showing me. Um, also, a huge thank you to Highway 1 RC off what... Off one crawlers, off off one, man, I get it. I think it's off one crawlers. I appreciate all you guys, man. You get you killing it down there. ASD, um, everybody, man, everybody down in California. Uh, Two chains, all you guys, man. I appreciate all of you. Um, I don't think I'd be doing what I do without the support of California. So big, big, big thank you to California. Um, that being said, you guys, I'm gonna get this all put back together. Uh, get some batteries charged up and maybe put this around the house a little bit. Ah, uh, yes. I'm stoked right now. So stoked. A lot more to come on this. A lot more. Uh, I even have a new radio on the way that we're going to unbox. So, yeah. Anyways, you guys already know what it is. Leave me a like. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. I got plenty more coming. And uh, I'll see you out on the trails. Or in this case, in the streets. <laughs> Peace of chicken grease, fam. Yeah. Yeah.